Hello friends, Arthur here and we're in the showcase number 48 as always hosted by Ronan and we start with DCS Tie Rider V3 by Tiger Poison C and for some feedback in a chat this is very cool nicely and smooth track from Tiger Poison C um, maybe some hard elements on transition after checkpoint 3 but you can use first person view and it will be nice and smooth Sunset Sunday by Naughty Shade. Quite long and tricky track. As you can see, I finished it just with luck and it's not the only moment where I was uh, pretty lucky. Just one attempt. Ah, several confusion transition. One of them is wait, the first jump, obviously. Then same, you need to repeat it after checkpoint three. But as I said, I was completely lucky to finish it at least uh, somehow but the way how I finish it it shows that this is pretty doable track in you need just more time and for one minute track like more than one minute track uh, five minutes for showcase is definitely not enough so probably after showcase people will try to finish it but I believe it was less than 10 during showcase Candy Corn Rush by Maki and Saint Nick and this was yet another quite hard track and without some players in front of me who can show me the road I probably wouldn't finish it because there are so many transition jumps, over jumps uh, and the way how they all build I believe if you do one tiny mistake you lose speed on some jumps you won't be able to do it correctly uh, or you won't be have enough speed or momentum and because of the lightning uh, all this orange and the white orange track uh, sometimes it's not really obvious where and how you need to make jumps and where you need to go and yet again for five minute showcase i would say track longer than one minute is very could be very hard but i really can't complain i finish both of them Flash of Kerky by Lexer and it's been quite long time uh, when we saw the Flash tracks and Kerky is a tournament that held by Maki and I believe it's like relatively new there was only five of them um, but as of track uh, Flash is almost like the ice and it's quite slow track I believe the main problem on it it's all this small transition near the edge or barriers near the all like cuts angles so at this moment it could be quite hard oh and if you want to see uh, just market tournament i believe it's already on his channel v94 something else by westside and for like, several last weeks westside building quite challenging tracks and i believe um, if i would have more time on it 15 20 minutes i would definitely finish it ah, for me the most uh, problematic part was the jump where you need to do 360 i never had a proper landing using like braking and other stuff i was either like over jumping or like uh, landing wrongly and fell enough so yet another quite, quite challenging track from best side but wait there is more celestial dorking by dpl and maki and i believe it's all about start you need to start pretty smoothly with a lot of decent speed uh, because there are several speed check jumps where you need a lot of speed and a lot of skill i think like i was never able to over jump uh, the element after checkpoint three um, but after that 
again you need to land smoothly and do another jump and then another jump where you need to have enough speed for all of that and then the easiest part is just taking the uh, paraglide and go into the finish so i would say yeah there are a lot of uh, hard and tricky tracks this week the beaten pass by Dombi Des, and this is a tricky track so you need to follow like wooden pass like dark wooden pass if you take all shortcuts there is like a invisible death wall or maybe it this wall at some elements and yet because uh, if you do it all by the wood track it's quite long it's like uh, minute 20 minute 30 so there's definitely uh, one or several uh, big cuts um, i believe one of them it's inside the tunnel uh, near the checkpoint seven and eight uh, i saw there's several people jump inside like small holes and uh shortcutting them but yet again having just five minutes is not enough uh, for one person for find all cuts and all elements where you can uh, take boosters uh, take uh, some roads and not get crushed in uh, invisible walls but really interesting idea if we had a more time uh, for more people or slightly shorter track i believe it could be fun um, don't get me wrong it's already a fun track and if i would have more time i would definitely and more to find in the better past and this time Lindsay was the luckiest one he almost got the after time he cracked the code almost invisible track by Ogil Games and the name completely explain all of this track I found that using front first person view is way beneficial you see more of the track you see it closer it's not really hard and sharp the main problem is that it's invisible and from third person view it's sometimes uh, you can't see it or it's uh, combined with another part of the track so it's really hard but it's very nice and funny idea at least it's not completely invisible track as we played several times before holy are by just maki and uh, a fully icy track and it's not just bobsleigh in this case you need to put your uh, soul box your car in a specific way uh, in a specific line to go from one element to another because of the ice and you have limited uh, control of your soul box uh, yes there are several uh, signs but you need to be uh, pretty good uh, on ice and looking how some people uh, crashing especially on the second uh, jump where i crash and a lot of people and looking track after that like some 360 uh, fully icy elements i would say it's way out of my skill level But that was the last track for this week and hope you enjoy all of them. Uh, I will definitely try to grind some of them. Um, please let me know what's your favorite track uh, and leave likes, leave comments. See you next time. I wish I had more time to take part in all those new tournament events that people made for Zipkiss.